Welcome back. It's 1030 The Voice, trusted local news and talk. My name is Bill Buckmaster. The name of the show, my last name, it's Buckmaster. Our CEO interview series on Buckmaster is presented by Sun Corridor, Inc., a transformative economic development organization representing one of the most dynamic and growing major business centers in North America. Sun Corridor, Inc. is a CEO driven regional alliance whose members aggressively champion mega regional issues that impact economic competitiveness and quality of life. The organization has helped to drive significant business investment into Tucson and Southern Arizona through primary job creation, resulting in an economic impact. Get this, $24.8 $24.8 billion with 162 company locates and expansions supporting nearly 48,000 jobs. For more information, visit suncorridorinc.com. Joining me on the Buckmaster Show live line is Sarah Frost. Sarah is the CEO responsible for the two Banner Health Hospitals in Southern Arizona, Banner UMC Tucson and Banner UMC South. As Banner's chief hospital executive here in Tucson, Sarah oversees the much-anticipated opening soon of a $443 million nine-story tower to replace the 48-year-old section of the original University Hospital. Sarah is a big supporter of Sun Corridor, Inc. She serves on the organization's board of directors, and she joins us now. Sarah, how are you? Very good, Bill. Thank you so much for having me. So much going on with Banner and all the the changes, and it's actually, it's been four years already since the merger of the not-for-profit Banner Health. Uh, what What have been the biggest improvements Sarah Frost, that you have seen? Yeah, um, it is crazy to think that it has been four years already um, since the merger. Um, There are so many improvements um, that we have seen, but I would say um, two areas is really the investments in our people and investments in capital. Um, Those are probably the two largest improvements that we've seen since the merger in, in 2015. You know, we have our new outpatient complex, um, which is right next to our cancer center on Campbell. Uh, We have the ability to offer more convenient and accessible care to our patients. It really is a truly beautiful space. And our commitment to improving our facilities, technology, and research capabilities really has helped us recruit some of the best and brightest talent in the country to come care uh, for our patients and our facilities. And also, you know, our partnerships with both the University of Arizona and Pima County are really stronger than ever. Another thing I'd, I'd like to add, um, being part of a very large health system with over 50,000 employees, we are um, part of a very large network and one that we didn't have before. We have 28 hospitals in our system Um, throughout Banner House, of which two of them are here in southern Arizona in Tucson. But we can learn from our colleagues and we can share our own best practices in academic medicine. So really exciting times. Um, I've seen some major improvements. But again, I would say the biggest improvements and enhancements has been um, on our people, our staff, and um, in capital uh, improvements. Well, I didn't realize the portfolio had 28 uh, medical facilities. That's huge. It is. And we're lucky to be two of them um, here in southern Arizona. But it is. It's a very large health system. Talk about the new hospital opening, I guess, a little over a month. Uh, What can patients expect from, uh, as I mentioned in the introduction, this is a huge investment of 450 million dollars what what do you uh, what can you tell our listeners about this project yes um you're right it is approximately a 450 million dollar uh, project we are opening for um, patient care um, at the end of middle of april april 22nd or so um, so what patients what can they expect um, they can expect an entirely enhanced experience Everything that was done um, in creation for this facility, everything was designed with our patients' need and comfort in mind. There's 
open and bright spaces and natural light, and that really does scientifically promote healing. We have new state-of-the-art equipment, uh, which will allow our physicians, nurses, and other caretakers to deliver the best possible outcomes for our community. You know, it's really exciting to think that we're going to have all private patient rooms in our new tower. I didn't know that. That's great. Yes. We will have a new labor and delivery unit. We will have all new operating rooms. And we'll also have a very patient staff and visitor-friendly front entrance and parking for um, for all that um, have to come to our facility. You know, it is exciting, and as part of the new hospital and as part of the um, opening of our hospital, we're hosting a, a hub of activities during a community event, Cyclovia, which is on April 7th, and it's from uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and we hope you and um, the listeners will gather your family and friends Um, Come see us, take a tour of the new building, try out our rock climbing wall, our zip line, and eat some food and and get to learn more about um, the facility and all the great care that goes along um, inside of it. And again, give us the the location and the event times. Um, It is April 7th from 9 a.m. to 3 Mm p.m., the community event called Cyclovia. Mm -hmm. And the, the tour begins and ends at our new hospital tower. That's going to be a, it, it's really a complete redo, isn't it, of the facility? It really is. Um, it's such an exciting time for us, our, our team members, and we really want the community to see the incredible things that are happening um, here today, but also into the future. Think about the economic investment in this, uh, in this community that Banner's already made in four years. It's got to be big, big time. It definitely is. If if you think about our new hospital that I was just describing Mm -hmm. was uh, approximately $450 million. And we also opened a a brand new outpatient center, which is right next to our cancer center, which was another $100 million um, with improved outpatient space for our patients. So pretty remarkable. Yeah, because it it takes uh, a lot of people to to make this happen, a lot of construction jobs. So a lot of money has been pouring into the community uh, from just the building alone, hasn't it, Sarah Frost? You're absolutely right. It, it's amazing um, to see. I know, you know, in year, probably about a year ago, uh, when we had um, the tower really underway, there were hundreds and hundreds of um, just workers of all kinds that were here um, helping us and, and designing and constructing and, you know, electric, electrical uh, plumbing. So it really, and equipment, it, it really is amazing. How does it look for the future of healthcare in this community, Sarah? I think it looks really good. Um, I think it's, um, you know, healthcare, the environment is, is changing. Um, it, it's always changing. But what I would say um, for, for Banner University Medicine, what's exciting is um, really looking towards the future in, in our new facility, um, all of the new facilities that we are putting in place here um, in town really will allow us to fully develop an integrative care model, really you know, linking between inpatient and outpatient and making sure that we're able to reach our patients and they can receive care where and when they want it um, is really the the ultimate goal, ensuring that we have the best possible access for our patients, which is in our outpatient centers and our urgent cares, and and if you need it, in in our hospital. All right, Sarah Frost, CEO, responsible for two, the two Banner Health Hospitals in Southern Arizona, Banner UMC Tucson and Banner UMC South. Sarah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. That's Sarah Frost with us on our Buckmaster Show CEO interview series presented by Sun Corridor. Get to know Sun Corridor. Visit their website, suncorridorinc.com. Coming up next, attorney Don Luce on the Buckmaster Show on 1030 The Voice, trusted.